Anytime I watch a video with a title like this, I really just wanna know the answer. So here they are, outlets and switches, hinges and doorknobs, minor hardware and light fixtures. If you wanna see how I made these upgrades, stick around and watch how I did it. All right, so let's start with outlets. This is a house that was built in 1996, and so these outlets are pretty old and damaged in some areas. They are kind of an almond color and not really going with the vibe we are trying to get in this house. With any electrical project, you wanna start by turning off the power, and if you're not comfortable doing like something like this, I would highly suggest you get a licensed electrician. But after confirming the powers off, uh, I simply remove the cover and then take the outlet out and kind of see how the wires are oriented. Uh, this is uh, got four wires. They're plugged directly into the back, which um, you're not really supposed to do. There's a lot of feedback on this. It's technically okay with code, but I guess it can cause some issues. And I'll talk a little bit about that uh, on the switch that I'm gonna do. So I clipped them off the back and uh, just stripping the wire cover here um, with my wire cutters and then uh, bending the copper wire so it fits around those uh, screws easily. When I removed the wires from the old outlet, I was careful to orient them in the same uh, position as they were in so I wouldn't get confused on uh, which ones go on the silver and the brass screws. And then once I got everything uh, attached to the new outlet appropriately, I wrapped it in electrical tape. This is a, a safety feature if anybody in the future um, starts messing with this box. Uh, a little bit uh, questionable if it's really needed because this isn't a metal box, um, but still rather safe than sorry. Also, a lot of questions when I posted this over on Facebook of if this is upside down or not. Every outlet in my house is in this orientation. Um, bunch of discussion over there, so let me know in the comments what you think. All right, look at this nasty old switch. So it's like yellow from the years of use and grimy fingers. It looks like the plate was changed sometime in the past. It's a little bit fresher white. Um, but we're going to go ahead and change this out and uh, make kind of a more modern uh, uh, flat panel switch, um, which is going to go um, a lot better looking, you know, a little bit more modern. Um, it doesn't really go with the paint. We are going to paint this room. That's dated as well. That's a whole other discussion. But check this out. That was plugged right into the back of that uh, switch and it was broken. Um, so I'd never seen that before. This wasn't staged. I just heard that you're not supposed to do that. And sure enough, um, that plug in the back uh, had, had broken off on that old switch. So um, again, pretty straightforward here, just replacing this. This is a single pole switch. There's three-way and four-way switches and can get pretty complicated. We've got some of that in our house. I'm probably not gonna tackle those myself and we'll probably call somebody to do those just because I don't wanna mess up um, uh, the way that uh, our lights are turned on from various different parts of the home. All right, so switch is done and you can see it looks a lot better once this room gets painted. Um, that'll look really sharp. Hinges and doorknobs. So we have more polished brass in this house than uh, you could even imagine. And check out these old hinges. They are nasty. They are dirty. They've got paint on them. And um, we're going to change them out for some brushed nickel hinges. Uh, really straightforward. Um, quick screw gun. And uh, these come right off. You can see how these new hinges are. Uh, these are like three or four bucks at the hardware store. You can get them in bulk on Amazon for cheaper than that. And um, they come with screws. And so they uh, are really easy to replace. Um, and just look a lot nicer and a lot cleaner. And so you can see taking off um, this old one, they're kind of painted in there and caked on, but I just, uh, just work it out of there. And um, just like that, these hinges have been updated. One thing I will say, you might need to come back and spray these with a little bit of WD-40 after they get worked in a little bit, just to stop them from squeaking, but they should be fine after that. All right, more polished brass doorknobs all over the place. Uh, this is the doorknob to our office. It has a keyed lock on it. I don't know why the previous owners wanted a keyed lock on it, but um, that's how they had it. So I slipped a paper towel under the door because when you take this out, um, there's some like dust and metal shavings and stuff that can come out, um, but it's really easy to replace. You can see I use uh, on the um, screwdriver that I'm using, on the screw gun I'm using, it's got a little rubber coating on that bit. Uh, that's a nice thing to have because when you screw the new one on, like I'm doing right here, if you don't have that, it can, um, and you're not really careful, or uh, and you're not gonna do this by hand, you can kind of scratch up the handle there. So um, these, these uh, uh, doorknobs came right from Amazon, um, pretty cheap, they come with a strike plate. Uh, and so we replace that as well. And um, just like that, these are replaced and looking a lot better than that polished brass in my opinion. 
and again a little bit of paint to touch up there but we're going to do that in the future all right so calling this section minor hardware this could be a really long section but i'm going to keep it to two uh, little areas so uh, these brackets that hold up the rails on our stairs again polished brass old dingy nasty going to replace them with um, brushed nickel ones a little bit heavier duty as well uh, super simple to replace um, they just screw out and the uh, the new ones go right back in those holes. I didn't have to pre-drill any holes or anything like that. These um, are the same format as the old ones, so uh, they go in um, really simple. And this bracket that holds it uh, onto the railing actually kind of bends and forms around to make a really tight uh, connection, and you can see that's what I'm doing here. So we'll come back and paint this in the future, and it's going to look great. The other section in minor hardware is these uh, ball hinges that we've got on a couple of doors throughout the house. Uh, they're old, they've been painted over, and they kind of stick and catch. Um, it's a pretty cool little hinge. I got some new ones, again, pretty cheap at the hardware store. Uh, comes with a fresh strike plate, um, which screws in just with a couple of screws, really straightforward. Um, and then the uh, ball hinge itself, again, just being new, has a lot smoother action, and uh, the old one comes out super easy and then here's what the new one looks like you can see it just has a lot better uh, look and feel to it and so not only will this look better by not having the painted over strike plates um, obviously you won't see this part but these will function a lot better um, and won't catch when trying to uh, when trying to close the doors all right last but not least light fixtures again more polished brass my goodness all right so we have replaced a ton of these um, in the past several years there's a couple more again turning off the um, power uh, this being an electrical project but they are really simple to do um, so once the power is off uh, you just there's they're held up in place um, by two screws into a bracket uh, into the uh, electrical box um, and you can see uh, that just connected by two wires. Sorry for the uh, camera angle here. It is not great. This was pretty high up in our garage and um, couldn't get the camera quite that high. Uh, so apologize about that. But bear with me. So anyway, um, the new light fixture comes with uh, a mounting bracket that the wires just come through the center of. And then uh, you attach the ground and um, attach the white to the white and the black to the black. Again, pretty straightforward. But if you're not comfortable doing this, um, call an electrician. They won't charge you too, too much. Um, but it is a very easy DIY project to do yourself. And there are lots of great videos on how to do this out there, so I'm not going to go into every detail. There's much more qualified people than me, um, so really just showing you uh, what I'm doing here. I did need to um, screw in a couple of additional uh, screws into the mounting bracket to make them long enough to get these uh, to catch the um, the holes of the new uh, of the new light fixture. And you can see this has two. Uh, bulb, so I'm going to get a little bit brighter light here, and it's uh, again going with the brush nickel theme that we've got throughout the house, and looks a lot better. So super easy to install. Um, just screwing in that bolt right there, and a couple of the bulbs, and then we'll put the uh, glass dome over it. And uh, I like to test out to see if it works before doing that, and it does. I wired it correctly, and so putting the glass dome on, and off we go. So that is it, my friends. I hope these four uh, tips are helpful. If you live in a house that's built in the 90s, it's builder grade like us, then it is. Uh, then these tips will probably be helpful for you. So thanks for watching, and uh, please consider subscribing, and really appreciate it.